This is Renee from the iPhone blog. We're at GDC 2010, and I am talking to Baudouin and um, Zinette from Gameloft. How's it going? Good. Good. So can you tell me a little bit about Gameloft? Uh, yeah, sure. So, so Gameloft is a, a game publisher. Uh, we are really active on the iPhone uh, platform. We have today 60-plus um, games uh, available uh, on the App Store. And uh, we are a company of uh, almost 4,000 4, people uh, and 3,500 developers working to bring the best uh, gaming experience possible. <laughs> and what are, what are some of your most popular games right now, something that our readers would we'd be most familiar with? Uh, so we have some great hits. Uh, so Nova is one of them. It was uh, really extremely successful, a first-person shooter uh, with Gameloft IP and a big success on the App Store. Um, we recently uh, launched um, Rayman 2, uh, GT Racing. Um, we've launched also Avatar. Uh, so these are the last games we launched. Right, and uh, so. Um what are the, some of the things that you're looking forward to in 2010 for Gameloft? Is there any area you're targeting? Are you trying to bring along your existing titles? Do you try to mix in new titles? Um, <clears throat> we'll be so we'll be aggressive also next in 2010, bringing uh, always uh, more titles to the to the platform. Uh, our focus is really AAA games, so that's our core competency, and that's what we want to bring to consumer. Um, so you'll see a broad range of games coming from Gameloft in different genres. Um, what are some of the trends you're seeing in iPhone gaming? Is, is there such a thing as a trend in iPhone gaming, or is it so big that you have to try to appeal to different users? Actually, that's our approach, <laughs> to have a diversified uh, catalog for, for everyone. So it can be uh, so racing to action to first-person shooter uh, to more casual like Uno or Oregon Trail. So that's also the beauty uh, of the App Store, to have this huge diversity of games available. And that's something we, we contribute, I think, to, to bring to the platform, this uh, diversity in general and games. One of the things we've noticed about Gameloft is you, you take, I don't know if the right word is classic or popular genres, and you make an extremely polished, very iPhone-esque version of the game. That, that's maybe what we've noticed the most about Gameloft. It's just—it's really the kind of game you love, but really well crafted for the iPhone specifically. Well, we have uh, 800 developers working uh, for for the iPhone platform. So yes, we we are really focused on the quality we bring. Uh, to have polished uh, games, and so it's really our our core objective and. And we want to. We always want to have the best possible game of the genre of the on the platform. So yeah, we, we'll keep it. Was there anything that surprised you about the iPhone plat as a platform going in? Is there? Um, actually, it's just it's just a great it's a great platform. It's an uh, amazing uh, gaming experience. Uh, today, I think it's really a well-established gaming platform. So that's uh, I would say now the, it's the beauty of the uh, of, of the platform. Um, I think that uh, now you, you have some trials. So we are working on uh, now you can work on in-app purchase, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, but what's really is striking me is all the the, the, the different uh, type of games you have coming and the type of applications is. Um, really refreshing to see all that happen on this platform. Because I'll be honest, when, when you yeah. announced Nova, I didn't know if you'd be able to make a first-person shooter that okay. would be controlled well on the iPhone. Yeah. And I picked it up and I just started playing it, yeah. and I hate to use the cliche, but it just worked. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, to the end user, it's yeah. transparent, but that must be a lot of work for you behind the scenes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell the country. Um, yeah. Uh, so in terms of first-person shooter, so we also have a, uh, Sandstorm, we had the Terminator, so I think we are quite good now at, uh, at, in, in this genre, and Nova is really our pepite. 
Now, well, speaking of Nova specifically, we saw you at the iPad introduction yeah. event uh, with quite a glorious version of Nova mm -hmm. running full screen with mm -hmm. gestures to open doors. Yeah. So I usually ask if people are interested in the iPad, but you were kind of outed on the gigantic stage already with the iPad. W what do you think about it as a platform? Um, we're really excited. Uh, it's a new form factor, uh, which will big screen, uh, touch, accelerometer. So it's really a promising platform. Uh, we are try to do the best we can uh, with uh, with this platform, and I think we'll see a lot of innovation coming out of uh, this specific device because it's a new one. Uh, and and yes, we we'll do. Good stuff. Now, Steve Jobs mm -hmm. said that almost all iPhone apps will run out of the box mm -hmm. on the iPad, which means your entire catalog of games. But it looked like uh, during that demo, you're really making it a point to try to make iPad specific to make use of that bigger canvas. Yeah, that's really our um, our approach uh, for the iPad. Uh, we think that the the platform deserves um, a, a specific version of of, of the game, and uh, it's. It's, we are rethinking the games with uh, the new parameters we have. This new device, screen, uh, resolution, and so on. So, uh, yes, uh, iPad, the iPad platform is another platform that will get specific uh, games. And one, the last thing I'll ask you is, mm -hmm. For a large company, um, you are very nimble. When Apple makes new functionality in an SDK or when they announce a new device, you're right there. That's a pretty impressive balancing act for to be such a, a large company full of so many developers and yet able to react so quickly to whatever Apple's developing. Um, I think that we are organized to, to be able to, to react quickly. It's on our DNA to take the most of any innovation coming. Uh, it's, we have to be reactive in this, uh, in this environment, that's what makes uh, this business so exciting. Uh, and actually each time there's a new feature or a new possibility, we are pushed to, 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 to use it. Okay, well thank you very much. That was Baudouin, and that was Sinet from Gameloft, and this is the iPhone blog at GDC 2010.